Hi there, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about, in my opinion, the best basketball shoe from Li Ning as of now, the Li Ren 4. So I know that was a big statement, but from Li Ning only, uh, excluding Wave of Wade, which is basically their Jordan brand, this is really the shoe that tops them all based on my experience. I'll leave a link in the description box for those who are interested. And uh, on this model, they've made a lot of dope colorways. This Lasso one I have is part of their ongoing official collab with Disney. The English name for this series is Sharp Edge, by the way, in case you're wondering. Also, Yu Shui means commander. All right, um, the low top V2, I will be getting a pair as well. Last time around when I did the video on the Legion 3 V2, uh, a lot of people seem to be quite unfamiliar with the line. So if I was to describe how the series is going, similar to the Yu Shui line, they're kind of doing what the Hyperdunks did for Nike. You know, not a signature line, but every model is rock solid in terms of performance. They're not specialty shoes or guards, or bigs. No exclusive tech, but they use their best setup available, which is full and boom in this case. Anyways, I got lots to say about this one, but it's also easy to do because they check the box pretty much across the board. For ones like this that I've had for a long time, but I never really got the chance to talk about yet, I'll try my best to put out the video soon. Let's get started. Performance-wise, cushion is pretty much automatic at this point. Like I always say, you can't possibly go wrong with a full-length boom midsole. Comfortable and responsive at the same time. They're right around average weight, 420 grams for size 10 and a half. And on feet, they feel even lighter than that. Like I was guessing 400 grams before I measured them. So it does give you good speed and agility. Traction is absolutely fantastic. Top tier for sure. So this shoe, along with the AG4, are pretty much the two that I bring with me as the safe backup. Because even on a very dusty court, or a gym with unknown conditions, where some shoes lose their magic, these guys still grip really well. And I've never had any issues getting to a hard stop. Like they do pick up dust, but it was easy to wipe off and did not affect the performance at all. The traction pattern goes from herringbone to like instant noodles, but it is their tough RB. So I think it's fine for outdoor use. It's just, like I said, I gotta enjoy every bit of it indoors. With the fit, true to size would be the best option. As in like, go for your normal Nike size or true size in most other sneakers. Standard width and length, not too narrow, not too long or short. Stability and support, also decent to say the least. This is pretty much a high top. The collar has a slanted shape, and I actually think it's a brilliant design to give you a good balance. Uh, so it's protective enough, but you also don't lose any mobility around the ankle. It's not too hard so that it causes discomfort. Not too soft, because otherwise it would not be functional. Now on the previous Li Ren 3 V2, if I was nitpicking, uh, lateral containment, I thought, was the only thing that could be improved. And here on the Li Ren 4, they hold your feet well in position, uh, hard twists and turns on the court. You have some TPU caging that guards the midsole, a support plate, their so-called ultra shell and solid system with a TPU mesh for the materials. Those are all pluses for the stability. So yeah, these guys are really just a complete package. Even if we include the best performers from Way of Wade, I think the Wild 10 and All City 12 are about the same level, but this is honestly even easier to use compared to those two. Very user friendly, doesn't require a long break in time. Overall, the Legion 4 is basically a flawless shoe. It gives you not just a little bit of everything, but a good chunk of everything. If you want something that is lightweight with good traction, they got you. If you want good cushion while not sacrificing comfort and playability, they got you. If you need good ankle support, they got you. If you like something that gives you all that and is cheap at the same time, you're daydreaming. Um, yeah, I guess the price factor is the only thing that should stop you from getting these. Otherwise, I don't see why not. This is a must-have. 
Same goes with the Leland 3V2, which went a long time without any discounts, pretty much everywhere. And the 4V2, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Let me know what you think about the Leland 4 down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon on the next one.